Hey guys, welcome back. On today's episode, I'm going to show you guys how to use a new feature in Liver 3 known as Wire Confirm that allows you to easily ask your users for a confirmation before they perform a live wire action. So let's take a look at an example. Uh, today I have the project from my live wire blog course. Uh, if you guys want to check it out, I will have the link in the description. It's a free course. But basically on this project, I have this X button over here that basically clears the user's filter selection. Okay, so by default right now, if the user clicks on it, it just deletes or clears the filter. So what I would like to do is add a simple confirmation over here to ask the user if they actually want to clear the filters, right? Now I do covered how to do that on my library crash course, but that was kind of a trick way of doing it. In Liver 3, this is kind of built in, so you can just use it that way. So let's see how that works in Liver 3. So I'm going to go ahead and open up my blade file. So you need to use this wire confirm inside your Liver components blade file. So super important. So this is basically the button over here, the X button on the left. This is the code for it. So this is the HTML. Okay, it's a simple button and I have a wire click that calls a method of clear filter. So if you want to add or show our confirmation dialog, we can go ahead and type in wire confirm. So that's the new attribute added. And then you can have an equal sign and type in a message you want to show to the user. So this will go ahead and show a simple JavaScript dialog box or browser dialog box. So in this case, I'm just going to go ahead and type in, are you sure, right? Now you can pass in any message you like. I'm just putting this as an, as an example. So that's it. Let's just save that. Let's go back and let's see how it looks right now. Okay. So I'm going to reload. And now if I click on the button previously, if you guys noticed, nothing happened. Now, if I click on it, we get this dialog box and it's telling us, Hey, are you sure? Of course you could have put in any message you wanted over here, right? I'm using, are you sure? So it's a bit smaller on the screen. And if the user clicks cancel, nothing happens. It basically stops. And then if they click on, okay, it will actually go ahead and run if you have a wire click on that button, okay? Which in this case I do have. So if I click okay, it will run, run this clear filters method. So let me go ahead and click on okay. And as you can see, it cleared the filters. So that's how easy it is to use it. Now, one more thing you can do with this uh, wire confirm is ask the user to type in some sort of message before they op perform the operation. You may have seen this on some websites, for example, on GitHub, if you are trying to delete a repository, it asks you to type in the repository's name as a confirmation, right? So it's not just a button. Well, we can achieve a somewhat a similar result, although not as uh, pretty, by basically going ahead and on this wire and confirm, adding a dot prompt, prompt, okay, just like this. And this is known as a modifier. And then once you have added this, in order to pass it in what the user needs to type in for the confirmation, you can use this pike or pipe uh, notation, right? Or basically this vertical line, okay? So once you have added that, whatever you put after this is what the user needs to confirm the action. In this case, I'm gonna say confirm, okay? So that's all we have to do. And sorry, it just uh, refact, uh, reordered it. So basically that's all we have to do. Add this dot prompt modifier and then add this pipe or vertical line, or maybe it's like an or, and then whatever message the user needs to type in to confirm the action. Okay, that's all. I'm going to save it. It will obviously, I have a linter here, so it will change it. But let's go back. Let's do reload. I'm going to add a filter again. And if I click on X now, as you can see, it's telling me, are you sure? And now it has added an input box. Okay, now this might be a little bit small. So let me zoom in for you guys a little bit. So I'm going to zoom in. So now as you can see, it's telling me, are you sure? And I, I have a box here. So if I type in uh, some, you know, random value and click OK. Nothing happened. As you can see, I'm still actually searching for live So I ha still have my filters on. Let's try again. Obviously, if I click on cancel, same thing. So in order for this to work, I have to type in confirm just like this. If I type in confirm, which is uh, what I had over here, if you guys can see after this pipe uh, notation. So if I type in confirm and hit OK, it will actually, as you can see, it actually confirmed the operation and cleared the result. So that's how you can do it. Now, one more thing you can do, guys, is you can also go ahead and add some new lines if you want. So if you want to, for example, let the user know what they should type in, you can basically have like a new line just like this and then say a type uh, confirm to confirm. OK, something like this. It's up to you. You can have any kind of uh, message that you want. And let me actually zoom out so you guys can see a little bit easier. 
just like this. Okay, so this is basically the message I have now. Are you sure? I have a new line and then type confirm. So I'm letting the user know what they should type in. And of course, at the end, I'm letting Liveware know that the user should type in confirm. Okay, so let's go back. Let's do reload and let's try again. I'll click on Livewire. And if I click on this, it basically says, are you sure? Type confirm to confirm. I'm going to type in confirm and then hit OK. And it will go ahead and clear the result. So that's basically how you can go ahead and use Wire Confirm. Very easy to do. Uh, it kind of uh, removes the need to manually do it yourself using some uh, inline JavaScript. And yeah, that's it, guys. So if you have any questions, uh, you can ask me in the comment section below. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you smash that like button and subscribe if you're new to the channel. And I see you guys on the next episode. Have a great day. Bye.